Hello again, I am Blanty. Do you have or intend to get an Xbox Series X? Uh, are you kind of limited on space or do you intend to sort of move it around from room to room or house to house or something, for example? Maybe, just maybe, you would find this particularly interesting. It's a screen that bolts onto the back of the Xbox and gives you well, a little, little level inch screen and some speakers and pass through on the back for power and your storage and everything. And you're basically good to go. It turns your Xbox into a kind of chunky ass gaming laptop that can't run off battery because, well, it's not designed to run off battery, but it'll make it easy to move around. So not so much portable Xbox as luggable Xbox. Uh, and if you're from my generation, Gen X, you will recognize the term luggable for what we used to uh, refer to laptops. Uh, you know, the first generation of attempts to make a laptop. You know, they, they were referred to as luggables more than portables because they were kind of the same idea. You could move them around and they had their own built-in screen, but you still had to plug them in because, well, battery technology at the time meant, well, sealed lead acid batteries would have been the way to go and they were way heavy. Now, I normally don't cover Kickstarter uh, stuff. I used to do it a lot, pretty frequently. Back in the earlier, you know, year or two of Kickstarter, uh, I used to do it a lot. Um, mostly when I was sent samples, of what they were making before the Kickstarter had actually finished, so I could look at it and test it and fiddle with it and make sure it was worth recommending to people uh, before I made a video about it. And then Kickstarter kind of snowballed into a gross pile of half scams, half using it as a pre-order shop and instead of what it was intended to do and just help you know creators without, without massive investors to get their products off the ground in the first place. And eh, these guys I've never spoken to. I don't even know their names, come to think of it. I just found this product this morning as I was going through my newsfeed, and I thought, that's something that could be interesting to talk about. So I have no affiliation with these guys. I, I've never met them. I've never contacted them. I, I don't even know what their faces look like. I don't know their names or anything. So uh, again, Kickstarter, at your own risk kind of thing. They have already met their Kickstarter goal, so the product should in theory, be going ahead for its planned release in uh, uh, first month of next year, I think, January, February, something like that. But it looks like a fairly polished product and it's not a big high risk product either. It is literally just a screen, speakers, uh, a little basic display drive of HDMI plugged into the back of an Xbox in, in a little box that's designed to smoothly integrate with the shape of the Xbox Series X. There's, there's, you know, there's no bleeding edge technology here. This is in fact an extremely old idea, like two decades old. Again, if you're Gen X like me uh, and grew up as a gamer, you might remember this, which came out for the PS1, the sort of rejiggered hardware of the original PlayStation, made it smaller, more compact and very, very plasticky and cheap and awful looking, but they had a little screen uh, that they made for it, Sony made for it, first party thing, that had a little hinge, I was looking at a laptop thing, and it was like a five inch screen, had built in speakers, exactly the same thing as this, plugged into the back, replicated the ports, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it was great, I had one. I didn't have the PS1 to plug it into, I bought mine, so I could dismantle it, cut it open, mount it in the back of a lampshade, one of those little clamp-on lampshades, you know the type, little bedside ones with a clamp. So I mounted the screen in that because the surround, the circle for that was exactly the same size as a lampshade I found, uh, uh, and modified the output to go into the AV output of my TNT2 card on my PC at the time and used it as a miniature second screen. That's old school modding, kids. That's old school modding. And it was fantastic. I used it to put little videos up, or mostly when I was using it, uh, particularly when I was gaming, I used it to display my system statistics so I could see my GPU temperature and speeds and all that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, so if you thought having a second screen, like built in your PC case or something like that to show your system stats was some sort of newfangled idea that has only just come around, no, we, we were doing it two decades ago. We're just doing it the old school. Now on the Kickstarter page, they say they have a patent pending for this. I can't imagine how because again, like I just explained, and the reason I just explained, uh, it's a very, very old idea. So I'm not sure what part of this they're patenting. Uh, they're not the first to do this by a very long shot. There has been various products similar to this for quite some time. Uh, a few years back for the previous generations of consoles, there was a kind of a uh, little zip open box thingy. I forget who makes it. I'll put it on screen here for you. They did offer me a review sample at one point, but never ever send it to me. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't sort of integrated like this is. It was just sort of, you zip it open, you put your, it was kind of like a, a briefcase. Your, your thing would stay inside and you just plug, you know, the screen was inside the top of the briefcase and you would plug your console in and away you go. Luggable console play. So all these guys have basically done is get an off the shelf 
you know, 1080p 60 hertz screen, easy and cheap to come by these days. Get a little display driver for it that has HDMI input, extremely easy to do these days. I mean, you could DIY this. If you have a 3D printer, you could flat out DIY this in an afternoon. Well, it might take a bit longer than that to print, but you know, this is, this, is, this is completely off the shelf parts that they're using here. And it's not like they're hiding that fact either. On, on the Kickstarter campaign, they have little GIFs showing the, the original prototypes being 3D printed and stuff like that. But of course, in their final product, they'll, they'll probably you know, get some proper injection molded plastic and stuff made. So it you know, looks nice and is sturdy. I'm just taking another look at their Kickstarter. I didn't notice they're actually fellow Aussies. Well, they say they're Australian based, but they're actually a couple of Kiwis. I'll try not to hold that against them. They're going to talk funny and stuff. And I guess they fush and chops instead of fish and chips, stuff like that. They are at least smart enough New Zealanders to move away from Australia Junior into proper Australia. But yeah, as far as Kickstarter campaigns go for tech products in particular, for gaming products like this, this feels like a fairly safe bet. Uh, like I said, off the shelf parts, very simple idea, not a new idea, uh, just a new implementation of an old idea specifically for the Xbox Series S, which itself is kind of the ideal product for something like this because it is small, light, easy to lug about, uh, you know, very attractive, and it, it's, you know, perfect for a 1080p 60 hertz screen. You're going to get some lovely gaming. So if you are after, you know, something that's, that's going to make your Xbox very sort of portable, has a screen with it wherever you go, if you move it from room to room in your house or you share it with siblings or you take it to grandma's house on the weekends or, you know, Whatever you need a more portable version of the Xbox for, maybe you just have a very small room. You don't have room for a TV and an Xbox and all the cables and stuff. You can just sort of chuck this on the desk. Um, I figured it was worth pointing out anyway. I don't have a Series S myself. I got the big boy one. I got the X, which not not really size and shape appropriate to try and do a product like this with. Um, but interesting nonetheless. And I figured I'd point it out to you guys because... Well, quite frankly, today's video was going to be a different video, but I'm still, it's a sponsored video. I'm still waiting on approval to actually go live with that because, you know, sometimes with sponsored videos, you have to get approval first because, you know, the brand wants to make sure the messaging is on point and stuff like that. Uh, so I was hoping to get that up, but instead just had to kind of find something else to make a video about. And this hit my radar as something very, 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 very interesting uh, this morning. So I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. Thank you as always to the patrons uh, scrolling above there, and I will catch you next time.